All right, guys. So on this job, we got the floor to do, which is basically a crawl space. That's a four foot. That's a four foot wall right there. Then they're gonna put the wood deck right over it. So once the wood deck's on, there's gonna be very limited amount of space. So the floor, we're just we're gonna pour it, screed it, bowl float it smooth, and then that's basically all we have to do for the for the basement floor. Then they'll just, you know, put their utilities down here, and there won't really be much storage at all. And then we also got a little entryway we're pouring that they're going to put end up putting a wood floor over. So we just need to make that flat and smooth. And then you're also going to see us pour some sauna tubes out back of this building. But for now, we're going to get the floor pour. We got two trucks coming. Those big holes in the middle are for their lolly combs. That's going to hold the center beam, which holds you know quite a bit of weight to the house in the middle of the house. We do quite a few of these crawl space floors actually in Maine for whatever reason I don't let me know what you guys think of these crawl spaces I mean they could dig down deeper right and get a full basement and then it would be like extra living space or basically they put the wall in for it's kind of like a frost wall for the house but they could fill that in and just do it like a slab on grade and not even really have to worry about a crawl space so either way let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you would do something like this or if you have one of these you know maybe you can enlighten some of the other viewers on on why you did it but that white pipe sticking out of the wall on the left way back there in the corner the left corner that's actually goes to the septic tank <laughs> there's no city sewer here that you have like a septic system and then they'll they'll also have a drilled well that so they'll have water coming from a well not from the city or the town uh, we're way out in a rural country this is was about an hour and 15 minutes away from our shop and that's very that's not uncommon for us to have to travel that far from work um, we just go where we're you know the our regular customers need us to go this is for a regular customer we've been working for these people down in this area for a lot of years we're actually the sub on this job, so we didn't do the prep, we didn't lay the styrofoam, we didn't lay the poly under the styrofoam. All they hired us to do was come in and, and lay the floor here for them, so we're just subbing that part out. So basically it's just the concrete and the labor, and that's what we'll build them for when we get done. Let me know if any of you guys that pour concrete flip your chute and pour out of the chute the, this way or if you've never seen that done. We've been doing this a long, long time. Most all the trucks, at least these rear dumps that we use, will, will, will work like that. Um, rarely will one not fit going this other way. And you can see how convenient it really is to make it, to make the concrete pour out of the chute this way, especially when you're doing over a wall like this. So. Let me know what you guys think of that down in the comments. Thank you. 
Now we can pull the concrete pretty loose. Uh, number one is we don't really need a ton of strength here, although we are using the 3500 PSI concrete, but we also put mid-range water reducer in it, and the water reducer basically allows us to pour, you know, a seven or even an eight inch slump, so a pretty loose slump without having to add water. And that gets put in right at the concrete plant. We just ask for it in advance. And that just makes, you can see how easy that makes pulling that stuff around and screeding it and bow floating it. It just, it just makes the pour go a little quicker, a little faster. And then, you know, if you do multiple pours in a day, sometimes like we do, you know, it just helps, helps from uh, wear and tear on the body too. So that's why we can pour a fairly loose slump. Like I said, it's a 3500 PSI mix, so it's a pretty strong mix anyway, with fiber mesh in it for reinforcement. And that's that's a pretty standard mix for us that we use every single day.
Enough. Might want to let him know. Is he looking at you now? Did he unlock it? Come on, Eric. This is your specialty right here. You're supposed to be trained in this. How many men does it take to fill a sauna tube? Yes. What? I was thinking the same thing. That's work, not good. Work but, hey, do you think we can put a state worker? No. Another job done. So this is just this is just a crawl space here. So that's bow float finish. So that's done. That's just a mud slab for a wood deck up there. You know, and the sauna tubes are what they are. They'll just put some posts on here for an outside patio deck. So we're on to the next job. It's about 8:30 in the morning. We got about an hour and a half ride to the next job, and we're gonna head out there. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.